Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to set up and rig one of these cars in Ham Editor for Half-Life Alex. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the car hatchback A01. Just type it in, uh, drag out the main model, and I'm actually going to set this one to be dynamic. It can be changed to static later, I just need it so I can actually give it a name. Uh, let's just give it its own name here body that's good next let's uh, just select the ground as well hit control h and that hides everything uh except the two things we just had selected so let's add a door so and uh, the nice thing about the car models is they already have attachment points which makes placing these much easier uh and to use that the way i found it work is well first let's just make a door Rotating physics, go to hierarchy, select the body as a parent, and for attachment, this is going to be the uh, left door attached, and then simply select this, reposition to match hierarchy offset, and it automatically snaps the origin of the door to the attachment. The rotation is a bit off. To move the rotation to here, just hit clear, and that moves over here, and then you can just rotate it until uh, it matches up like that. perfect so let's just do it with the other doors as well just move this one in uh, this should be door rotating physics turned it to this attachment should be right uh, interesting this one is actually slightly broken if i rotate it Sorry, it's clear on the pivot. Uh, kind of works, but for some reason it's a bit lower. So we actually need to position a bit manually. But there we go. Perfect. Uh, for the rear, let's see. The rear hatch is... Where is it? There it is. Same principle, uh, except this one should be prop physics override. It's not prop physics by default. So we need to select override for it to work. Select this and for attachment, we use the rear door and just do the exact same right click, select and see reposition to match hierarchy offset. And there it is. Then we select uh, all three. It's especially important with the rotating doors because they, at least to me, is a bit buggy if they are parented. So I'm just gonna remove this since we don't need this anymore. Um, and there's all the doors attached and in the right place. Next, I'm gonna add sound to these. So I'm just gonna close these and then you go either. So for the open sound, there is a sound called door car fully open, closed. We have fully closed. We have door car dot move, moving. And there is also one for latch. The rest should kind of stay on their default value. As for open direction, we're going to do that individually. So the way I have assume it works, at least, is that if you take your right hand and put your thumb along the z-axis, pointing up here, the blue arrow, and then curl your fingers, that's the open backwards direction. So in this case, we actually want this one to open forward only. So we don't want it to move open into the car, only out from the car. And for this one, uh, it should be the opposite. So like, again, pointing up, curling that way. So this one should be, find it, open only backwards. So that way, both of them can only open out from the car and you can push them in. One additional problem I've noticed, especially with these doors, is that you can get collision with the car body itself and it gets stuck and kind of glitchy. So the simple solution is just to disable collision between the car doors and the car body. To do that, simply add a logic collision pair so add one here. And I'm going to select this door, it doesn't have a name. 
car hatch back a01 door left uh, I'm just gonna copy this and for attachment 2 I'm gonna take the body and we're gonna start with collision disabled so they are not able to collide with each other uh, and then I'm simply gonna copy this over uh, except I'm gonna change the attachment 1 to this one and simply gonna change the name to right so now neither door is able to collide with the main car body and since we're on it, on it, we're just going to do the same with the back door right here. Because that's also going to cause problems, especially with this model, which has these uh, latches, hinges, kind of stick out and don't move with the back, back door. So in principle, I'm going to just select this, give it the same name, except door rear, hit OK. Now, to be actually able to open the back door, well, it's already a physics object, but it's just going to fall down and flop on the ground. We want it to be actually attached um, to the car. So to do that, uh, we're going to add a phys hinge local, and I'm just going to place it right here for now. So what this going to do is it's going to constrain the back door so it can only act like it was attached to that point as a hinge. So I'm going to move it roughly where the hinge already is, so like a little bit inside of it. Let's try like that. It's probably good. I um, also need to define the, uh, the axis, so I'm just going to click on one of the helpers, which is actually really difficult. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to type in values here. Zero, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so now I can actually see this point. Grab it, I can just move it over here. It does not really matter how far away it is. It's just the direction that really matters. Um, and the way this is going to rotate now, or the, po the positive direction for rotation, is going to be this point, start at that, and then put your thumb to this point and again the way your fingers curl is the positive direction it's going to rotate so i'm going to select this and set sorry uh with this selected i'm going to set the rotation uh, max rotation limit to be 90. i found that really nice uh, if i just select with this selected select this hit rotate you can kind of try it out so just like, turn it to 90. so this is how it would look fully open with a limit on 90 degrees. And I think the position is also pretty good. Well, it could probably be a bit, a bit more down. Uh, actually, uh, let's take this, move it down a little bit there. Rotate 90. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. Next. Uh, actually, select the entities you want to connect together. So, we want to connect the rear door, uh, and the second entity we don't need to put anything because, well, the car body won't move, so we can just have it attached to essentially the world. So, just like this will work. So, uh, next, it's actually possible to set sound to the hinge. So, there is a few for that. So, I'm going to add this sound for when it moves forward, this for when it moves backward, and for the reversal, small here, I'm going to have this sound. I'm going to turn off the friction to 0 0.9, uh, and the friction helps it from just falling back down again, um, so you can actually open it and it will stay open. Right? But you also don't necessarily want it to have it too high, because then you won't be able to like slam it shut or it basically won't move at all uh, after you let it go. And the last thing, uh, this should already be like fully functioning, uh, but the last thing I wanted to do is just add a hand pose so we can force the player's hand to take on a certain pose, uh, specifically with this handle right here. This is going to like 
rotate this let's see 90 90 just move it in I find it could be a little bit glitchy um depending on like where you where you place it like sometimes it doesn't grab onto the prop like it should so I recommend just experimenting moving the hand pose around hopefully this should be good and this looks good visually hierarchy I'm going to also say to parent this to the rear door so the hand pose will actually move with the handle so it doesn't stop so you still get the hand pose even though the door is has moved okay so let's add some of the additional detail so we have now we don't need the bumpers because the bumpers are already on the model it's more if you can have loose bumpers lying around assuming you have this bare bone one that doesn't even have wheels um but it is like a few things like this one right here so to position it i'm just going to copy this position so i'm just going to go raw edit mode i'm just going to copy this makes things easier and just paste it so these two props now have the exact same position in the world uh, and so I'm just going to add the headlights and I'm going to do the exact same just copy in the position I just copied and it automatically places it in the right place not all props are necessarily like this some you would have to ma manually place but with these are nice just place them in the exact same spot as a car body and they would just be in the correct place next I'm just going to turn this off and then add uh, this glass and this is the left rear one so these are the glass that goes here fortunately these don't have the offset so I have to manually place them uh, so let's just see if we can do that quickly let's pick that up left okay I think that's good Uh, let's just place the other ones as well. This is the right. I think that's correct. And last, the windscreen. Let's just move this up. Try to get it in here. Next, select all of these. Uh, they should all be prop physics. Um, however, to prevent them from just falling into the car or anything, uh, go into spawn flags and take motion disabled, which prevents them from moving around, but they can still interact and uh, break. Uh, also make sure to select uh, carry type to too heavy which prevents the player from being able to pick them up or make them at least glow when hovering over them with your gravity gloves um, one issue with this particular car though is that the doors uh, don't actually have glass in them so it's like there is a glass texture here but that's actually not solid and there is no additional glass model for this particular car so to illustrate that, I'm going to go with the B model, or actually I'm just going to copy this over, since it's already set up. And for the model, I'm going to just go right, interactive, uh, change the name, so it's going to be B, let's move the name in, um, like that, and just rotate it. Perfect. And you can see this one doesn't actually have a glass by default. So we can, but it does have a model for it. So here we have glass right door. Simply going to try to move this into place. Okay. And then you just do the exact same. Make sure it's prop physics. Small flag. Uh, motion disabled that's only motion due to physics so you can still go in 
in hierarchy and parent it to the door and it will move with the door when it opens but still be able to break uh, next i'm going to just copy these two over if you don't want it to break uh, one way you can just simply do that is to uh, pick dynamic but because it's a physics entity i want to allow you to do that by default so you have to do dynamic override and let's just give this two and this should then always still happen too and now this class won't be breakable it will still kind of have the shatter effect okay so here we are in game the doors work no problem opening or closing them glass breaks and it doesn't move when like hit they don't react to the gravity gloves back door works fine holds itself open so you can reach in and grab whatever is inside closing works fine thanks to the hand pose once we grab here so a bit glitchy uh, doesn't always actually grab the the rear door <laughs> so it depends if it's worth it but you can still see that we get the hand even though like, sometimes it might not work opens the correct way and for these doors the glass as you can see does stay in the door frame and can break and this one does not break in case you don't want the player to be able to actually get into the car for example in case you're lazy this car will be available as a prefab uh, link is in the description and you can just put this in your own level if you want to.